Hey gang, so today we're taking a look at something new, well at least new to me and new to many people. So you all heard about Stable Fusion, Flux, Midjourney, Dolly, maybe even Ideogram. But something that I think you haven't heard of is Recraft. And I thought they weren't one of the big players, but it looks like they are. They have a proprietary model that they've trained themselves. And it seems that they have like over 2 million users so far. And they work with industry giants like Netflix, Ogilvy, HubSpot. Now, Recraft just released a major update and they claim they rank as the world's best in text to image generation on Hugging Face, a mystery AI image generator called Red Panda on the leaderboard here. So, beating out many of the industry leaders, including Flux, Midjourney, Dolly. Dolly is an industry leader, I guess. I, I mean, I wouldn't use it for anything. Recraft with its API also is offering world leading performance and features like text generation in any length and size. I mean, everyone's got that, right? Uh, they have a graphic design generator. They have something cool that many don't have, which is vectorization. So we're gonna take a look at that. You have the usual background removal, custom brand styles, and a lot of like preset styles also available through API. So Recraft is claiming to set a new standard in visual design and image creation. So we're gonna take a look at its capabilities and test it out. And well, let's see if the claims are true. Let's get into it. AI. Now as usual with these tools, I am getting free access, free everything, full unlimited, whatever. Everyone's putting food on my table, this and that. So I try to be as unbiased as. Possible. So let's start this up and let's create a new project and inside the new project we'll select the image option here. If you look on the left side here we have a panel in which we can select the style of the image we want to generate. So we got a bunch of options to choose from. Photorealistic, motion blur. For the first image I'll select graphic intensity style. So let's type something in here. Adventurer wearing a red fedora hat and a trench coat. That's creepy enough, yeah? So to generate this, we'll just press recraft. So this reminds me of, um, actually invoke does this. When you are uh, using invoke instead of generate, they call it, well, invoke. And here they call it recraft. I mean, sure, why not? So we got four nice pictures here. Let's see if we can customize them. Let's click on the settings option here, the style here. Um, seems like we have a negative prompt option here. So if you're new to AI, negative prompts help you create images where you can define what you don't want to see, right? So if you have uh, an image with a red hat and you put in blue hat in the negative prompt, well, you're for sure not going to get any blue hats, right? So we also have a color palette here with which you can customize the colors we want for our images. So that's kind of cool. We can actually select them and we don't have to prompt for that. So we can either, you know, select the colors or pick the palettes from another image. So that's kind of cool. There's also a little dice here near more and I'm assuming we'll get random palettes to choose from here. It's a cool feature, I guess. I, I do love the, the, the one where you can... Um, pick the palette from an image. That's pretty cool, especially if you're working with already preset brand images, right? So because I said in the prompt, I want the fedora hat to be red. I will choose something that has red. This one will do. So the background is red though. So I will make it yellow. I will make the hat stand out, I guess. Who doesn't like yellow? Yellow is great. I think the image conveys kind of you have this noir mystery style. I like that. I once did a, a, a school project to try to do a noir mystery video. Uh, it it turned out really bad, but uh, oh, the idea was good. So let's play around with it a little bit more. So we can adjust the color options here, which gives us more freedom to customize the generations. In case we want to quickly work on the colors, I guess. So we have some saturation, contrast, brightness. I mean, it's good to have. So let's reset that and see what fine tuning options we have here. So we'll generate four more images similar to, to this one, right? And prompt that the character is in a forest. So yeah, these results look pretty good. I mean, I like this style to be honest, since I'm coming from an art direction background. You know, I, I love illustrations like these. So let's check out this, the variate panel. So we can change the ratio of our image. 
and we have plenty of options to choose from so if you have it like you know maybe you have a square you want to do 16 by 9 you want to do like a 9 by 16 for mobile if you want to get it in all social formats or whatever formats that uh, your business is using or well you don't have to be a business you can use it for self and just upload it to you know instagram or tiktok or snapchat or whatever the kids use these days so i really like this image here if i want to save it all i have to do is go to export so here we can check the ratio of the image and we can download it as a jpeg or as a png so with recraft they claim to have better control over uh, small areas like adding a phone to a hand or adjusting face facial features in portraits um, you know it's pretty good a lot of other tools have this it's usually called in painting in the open source tools in the proprietary tools it's called wildly different things but uh, let's check check out how recraft does this so let's make some adjustments by clicking on this modify image tool here and after we select the area in which uh, we want to modify this image we can update the prompt here with what we want to see right so in this case i want to see some birds flying in this area i've selected here and if you generate this this is what you get right so they just plopped some birds into there while retaining the rest of the air now obviously there are slight changes to the other parts but it's still coherent it still looks good right we have four different generations to choose from um i mean they're all pretty okay another option we can work with is the background removal and if you just click on this button here recraft will select the background of your image after that we can type in a new prompt and see how recraft will implement the new background to our image I mean, that's pretty cool so we have from the previous forest woods the birds we are now getting this wall park which is actually looking pretty good and if you look at the people in the background they're quite coherent and very consistent not a lot of five-armed Cthulhu creatures back there on the buildings fairly consistent too let's add those birds back in the picture and after we added the details if we click on the arrow near the modify tool we can deselect the area we've been working on and that's it we can favorite this image if you want to so to have even more control over your generations you can change the style of your image anytime with the other styles available right so you have those in the menu you can also create your own styles by uploading up to five similar images we're just going to test the style here so we're selecting long shadow and let's look at the results here but before we recraft the image we need to type in the same prompt we used before so this looks pretty good let's try another style forest life so yeah the composition is consistent the images look similar even though they are generated with different styles we got the birds above the buildings in the background now, obviously things have moved around a little bit but you get the sense that it's the same picture in different styles right so here's a comparison between images with the same prompt but converted to different styles and as you can see in these they all feel like you know you have the same kind of vibe especially like the pixel one here now is it like a control it image to image like you know flux stable diffusion open source tools no it's not exactly that but since how simple this is, I would say it's still pretty good, right? If you're looking for, you know, 100% one-to-one, well, you probably need to add some control into that. But there's a trade-off, you know, maximum control, simplicity. I think we're having a good mix here. So Recraft is currently in version 3. It's a top-rated model and achieving very good ELO ratings on Hugging Faces leaderboard. Now, who's actually voting for these things? Honestly, I have no idea, but so far the results have been pretty good. Obviously, I'm a big lover of Flux, so getting people to vote for this over Flux is a huge deal. So let's try out this uh, Recraft version three raw style. So let's say we wanna upscale one of these generations. We have creative upscale here. So here you got a comparison. 
and I would say, yeah, trying to look for flaws here, but I mean, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Now you're asking me, hey, but can it do outpainting? Well, yes, it can. Now, if you don't know what outpainting is, think of it as zooming out of your image. I think Midjourney calls it some kind of a, a zoom out. Outpainting is the more general open source name. So we can easily do outpainting or zoom out here. So we can place our image into a frame. We write the prompt that we want to see. And uh, well, we click recraft to expand the image, right? I mean, we, we had some, we didn't have like rain previously. We had some clouds in the previous image. But if you look at the results here, you're getting some people walking around with umbrellas. The results are, I would say, pretty okay. The image, you know, is more or less the same. You're just outpainting that. We did add the elements we asked for. We got that nice cloudy UK weather. It's a very cool feature that is very simple to use in any case. So they also have the graphic design or the mock-up demonstration feature. So we're going to check that out too. So we're going to create this mock-up for an imaginary coffee brand. Swedes drink a lot of coffee. We're going to design packaging and branding elements for our imaginary coffee in just a few steps here. So Recraft's API here is the first to offer fully scalable vector art generation, as far as I know. If you know of another great tool that does vector, you know, let me know in the comments. I'll check that out too. So that makes Recraft ideal for you know logos, icons, and designs that require precision and flexibility at any size. We're gonna create a new project and generate a mock-up. We're gonna create a coffee mock-up for our brand, like I said. So we type our prompt, coffee packaging. Now we need to add something on the packaging. Let's type in our prompt. We got our first illustration for our imaginary coffee brand. So let's make a new frame, change the ratio. We should probably outpaint this, right? So let's outpaint the illustration to fit the size of the package. It doesn't have to be like perfect, but you know, looking at the package, it's vertical. So let's get a vertical looking image. So that looks pretty cool. I just, I love this um, illustration style with those bold colors. So now we just have to add this on top of our mockup, yeah? So we can adjust its size however we want, and we can see if it molds to this package's form. And it does. Now you can see that on the left side here, the table stretched a little bit, but that's all right. We can also generate a logo to put on top of our mockup. So let's create a new frame, select the vector option. I'll write something in here, warm coffee cup. How is it going to see that it's warm? Oh, right. Probably because of the lines, right? The, the steam. Let's see if it uh, fixes that. And two different colors in the style of vector art. Okay, so let's type brand slogan. Our coffee is beautiful. Amazing. Let's just select the font here. We're doing Irish Grover font. Let's add both inside a frame. We type in the text, select the frame, and recraft them together. Now the text has been integrated with our coffee cup and its vector with the logo. Pretty cool. Okay, let's add it on top of our packaging. So we can actually, if we click on our logo, press Alt, we can create a copy of it. So let's place it here. And if you press this beautiful little button here, we will remove the background. and We'll only have the icon and the text to place on top of our coffee cup. Now we can export the entire mockup as a PNG. So we select it, click export, and we are done. So here's the final mockup for our imaginary coffee brand. It makes me in the mood for a coffee, to be honest. So Recraft and their API offers powerful tools like scalable vector art, text generation for any size, and custom brand style creation. They call it a game changer for creators and businesses looking for high quality, consistent visuals at scale. They have adult features like background removal, upscaling. It's a fairly affordable, versatile solution for professional image creation, giving you full control over your designs. So do I agree with that statement? Well. I kind of do. I've been using Stable Fusion and Flux for since they were released over two years ago. Well, not Flux, but Stable Fusion. And 
The thing with Recraft and tools like Recraft, well, obviously Recraft is fairly unique because they have a proprietary model. They're doing it pretty well. They're simplifying everything. They're simplifying AI art use and they're doing it in this case their target audience is professionals in design and image cre creation and they're not going to bother with long install videos of how to get comfy ui installed and that sort of junk i, I get it people don't have time to learn that stuff so there's a place for recraft and tools like recraft do i recommend it well yes i kind of do is it free well no, it kind of isn't. If you want to use most of these features, you're going to want to have some of the paid plans. Now I can give you a promo code for discount on the subscription. Gives you like 12 bucks off for the plans. So why not a huge deal? There's still a little help. I'll put all that stuff in the description below. Might even come up on screen here right now. But if you're just looking for a professional tool without all the hassle, yeah, I do kind of recommend Recraft. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.